Hi friends, my name is Parindra Gupta. So in this video, let us discuss about mode individual series and discrete series. In next video, I am going to explain you about mode in continuous series. So coming to the mode in individual series, uh, there will be a question uh, and also the data which will be given for you. Find the mode for the following data related to the weights of a sample of 10 experimental animals. Uh, they will give you serial numbers and also the weight. Uh, this data will be depending upon the question box which they give and coming to the solution how to solve this type of problem regarding individual series of mode you have to represent it represent two columns uh, within a table and here one of the table will be represented as weights which has been given for you and one of the data will be represented as repeating columns that is nothing but data repeating is nothing but how many times this number has been repeated in the data that will uh, that will be represented in this column so now let us see so coming to the weights so in these weights you have to write only one time uh, the numbers which has been written for example if you see this 12 has been repeated or oh sorry if you take in the case of 10 and 11 it has been repeated two times if you see in the case of 10 here is one 10 and here is another 10 but you have to write only one time here okay you have to not write two times and how many times it has been repeated should be written in this column in data repeating column okay if you see here this uh, here is a 8 you have to come ascending order that is that is nothing but from lowest number to highest number you have to write the order like that and here 8 is the smallest number so you have to mention 8 as the first number in this column of weight and 8 how many times it has been repeated only one time so you will write the number here 1 in data repeating column coming to the number 9 uh, as it is ascending order so the next number will be 9 so how many times the number 9 has been repeated see here only one time it has been repeated coming to the number 10 how many times it has been repeated two times one and two and there are no other tens here over yet so only ten two number only two times it has been repeated which number 10 number so here we will write two coming to the 11 number it has been repeated four times one two three and four so you will write four here 12 and 13 has been repeated only one time in this given data so now see here how the value will be known if you see in the data repeating column so totally how many are the one two three four five six within the six numbers uh, which is the highest number four is the highest number so the weight which is regarding to this data repeating number is 11 so 11 will be the answer 11 will be the highest weight uh, when, when we compare to this question okay so the model weight will be 11 kills so this will be the answer writing result is very much important and the result which you write depends upon the question uh, or as the data which has been presented over you so now let us discuss about mode in discrete series so now let us discuss about mode in discrete series so before entering into this mode in discrete series you have to know how this grouping table and analysis table has been formed so this analysis table has been formed from the grouping table and firstly you have to know how this grouping table is formed so once if grouping table has been formed then it will be easy to calculate this analysis table so coming to this problem Waxy leaves. There is, there is a data which was given for you. Waxy leaves. They were a kind of 11, 12, and the number of plants are the given below. So, let us see how the grouping table has been formed. So, coming to the grouping table, in the first column you will write waxy leaves, and next it consists of number of plants. And this number of plants will act as first column. Normally, this grouping table consists of six columns. Six columns, and this number of plants will act as first column, and remaining are two, three, four, five, six. Six columns. So how these columns will be filled now i will say you so first column write as it is that's nothing but 13 13 18 uh, 17 15 and 14 so you have to write all all it uh, as it is so from second table from second table i'm going to say you how it is been formed so coming to the first table there will be no change as it is you have to write that's nothing but there will be no alteration alteration is nothing but change so there will be no change you have to write as it is which was given in the data for you Coming to the second column, you have to write uh, by adding the first two columns for the first two numbers in the which is present in the first column. That's nothing but you have to add 13 plus 13, 26. Next, 18 plus 17, 35. Next, 15 plus 14, 29. In this way, you will get the second column. Listen properly. It contains sum of first two frequency, which is being followed from the next two sequences. For example, if you see, this is the 13 plus 13, first and second frequency, right? So frequency 1 plus frequency 2 13 plus 13 26 in the same way you have to follow the same as it is which has been presented below if they give you many then you have to follow the same rule in the second column coming to the third column how the third column is being calculated now i am going to say you the sum of second and third frequency so here you have to leave the first frequency 
normally in the second frequency you calculated this both and next to both and next to both and throughout so in this case in the case of third column you will leave the you will leave the 13th uh, that's nothing but you will leave the first frequency so one of the frequency will be leave so that you have to leave 13 and then you have to calculate remaining two 13 plus 18 44 17 plus 15 46 and one more one more is remaining right so you have to leave as it is you should not count that one so in this way the third table has been formed so coming to the fourth table you have to calculate first three frequency and so on for example if you see here this is a fourth column right so how this fourth column has been formed first three frequencies and regarding to the throughout for example 13 plus 13 plus 18 first frequency second frequency third frequency so 13 plus 13 plus 18 how much 44 in the same way uh, another, another has been formed 46 how it is been formed from the fourth fifth and sixth frequency 17 plus 15 plus 14 so you have to take uh, 3 3 okay in such a way that you will get the formation of this fourth column so coming to this fifth column how the fifth column has been formed so you have to leave first frequency and then you have to calculate remaining three frequencies so you will leave the first frequency so second frequency plus third frequency plus fourth frequency so these three frequencies you have calculated but first frequency will be left so 13 plus 18 plus 17 48 so coming to the next case uh, 15 plus 14 plus there is no another number right so you have to leave these both numbers so only 48 has been formed in this fifth column so coming to the sixth column how the sixth column has been formed you have to leave first two frequencies that is nothing but 13 you have to leave 13 and you have to leave another 13 also so if you leave this both 13 then from next you have to calculate d1 for for example if you take 18 plus 17 plus 15 you have to calculate these three in the same way you have to calculate another three if there is a, if the table is long but here table is very short and there are no uh, sufficient numbers here so only three we are writing we are calculating only three numbers here in the sixth column but we are leaving the first first uh, first number and second number that's nothing but we are leaving first frequency and second frequency and from the third frequency you are being calculating so 18 plus 17 plus 15 you are taking 3 3 okay in the sixth column so 18 plus 17 plus 15 is equals to 50 so you have to leave the last number as it is so again i am going to see you uh, how the second column has been calculated by adding first frequency and second frequency so here uh, 13 plus 13 you got 26 18 plus 17 35 15 plus 14 29 so in this way second column has been formed coming to the third column you will leave the first frequency and then in the third column you will leave the first frequency and second and third frequency will be uh, added and next it will be followed throughout that is nothing but you leave the first column and 13 plus 18 30, uh, 31 17 plus 15 32 and 14 will be left as it is because there is no another number for for, uh, for getting paid in this in the way the third column has been calculated coming to the fourth column the first three numbers and regarding to that next three numbers and throughout so one first, first frequency second frequency third frequency you will get uh, 48 and next sorry 44 and next three you will get 46 in this way you will get off in the fourth column coming to the fifth column you have to leave the first number first number that's nothing but you have to leave the first frequency and then you have to calculate 3 3 so 1 2 3 that's nothing but 18 plus 18 plus 17 48 so here only 15 and 14 are there another frequency is not be present you have to you have leave this 15 and 14 and in the same way Coming to the sixth column, you have to leave first frequency and second frequency. In the fifth column, you have left only one frequency, right? But in the sixth column, you leave uh, first frequency as well as second frequency, and from there you will calculate each three. That's nothing but 18 plus 17 plus 15. You will get 50. So 14. There are no other two. Uh, there, there are no other two frequencies here. So you will leave the 14 as it is. So in this way the grouping table has been formed. So these rules I will say you at the end of this video. So please note down the rules, it is very important. So, so that you will get understand how this grouping table has been formed. Coming to the analysis table, how this analysis table has been formed, now I am going to say you. So before entering into this analysis table, so in the first column, which is the highest number? 18. So mark that. In the second column, 35 is the highest number, so mark that. Coming to the third column, 32 is the highest number, so mark it. So coming to the fourth column, 46 is the highest number, 48 is the highest number and 50 is the highest number in the fourth, fifth and sixth columns. So mark the highest numbers. So coming to this analysis table, uh, so now let us enter into analysis, analysis table. Coming to the first column, you have to write as it is, I, am, I have said to you, uh, these are the frequencies. Normally these are the uh, variables and these are the frequencies. So frequencies will be written as it is in the first column I have said to you. So which is the highest number, 18 is the highest number, only 18 is the highest number, so we will write as 1. Coming to the second column, listen properly. 
coming to the second column so how many numbers did you add for getting this second column will be the answer in the analysis table that is nothing but how many numbers did you add 18 17 so two numbers you have add to obtain this 35 value in the second column so you write you will write one here and another one here from the ninth column and from the tenth column you added ninth column and tenth column right in such a way that you got you obtained this 35 value so you wrote one and one in the ninth column as well as the tenth coming to the third one coming to the third one you have written at the tenth one and eleventh one how did you got here 32 is the highest number and here in the third column what we done we left one first number and we have left first we have left first number and then we calculated uh, next to two numbers throughout the table so here uh, here we got 40, 32 is the highest number so in this 32 is the number highest number so 17 plus 15 we got 32 so at the 10 you have to place 1 and at the 11 you have to place 1 1 so in this way you will get the third column coming to the fourth column how this fourth column has been obtained by adding first three frequencies and next three frequencies and next three next three next three so on uh, when the table is long so in this way here is a 46 is the highest number so uh, which is suitable for this 10th 11th and 12th wax leaves are this suitable for this so you have to mark 1 1 1 over here in the 10th 11th and 12th coming to the fifth sorry uh, yeah fifth table uh, fifth column how the fifth column has been formed uh, by adding for you, you leave you will in the fifth column you will leave the first number you will leave the first frequency and then you will calculate the next three frequencies by adding each other so second frequency plus third frequency plus fourth frequency so in such a way that you will add this frequency and you will obtain the fifth column right so how many frequencies you have been added first uh, sorry second frequency third frequency fourth frequency so totally three frequencies you have been added at the eighth ninth and tenth position so you will write 1 1 1 in the 8th, 9th and 10th so coming to the 6th column uh, 50 so that, that's nothing but how the 6th column has been formed you will leave the first number and first frequency and second frequency and from the third frequency you will calculate by adding each three frequencies so 18 plus 17 plus 15 in the same way 14 plus uh, another if they, if they give another numbers you have to calculate each three uh, by adding so in this way the 5th column will be obtained so 50 is the highest number here so at the position of uh, at, the, at the position of 9th, 10th and 11th there is nothing but we have left first two numbers so we calculate 9th, 10th and 11th right so 18 plus 15 plus uh, sorry 18 plus 17 plus 15 you got 50 at the positions of 9th, 10th and 11th you should mark here 1, 1, 1 right so next these are the numbers where how many uh, how many analysis how many analysis numbers has been formed from this grouping table so that's nothing but in the eighth number in the eighth number of vaccine leaves so how many analysis has been formed only one analysis has been formed that has been the two in the fifth column so you have to write only one here only one is there so coming to the ninth one how many are the one two three four so you'll write four coming to the tenth one five are there one two three four five so here you ha here you have to write five coming to the eleventh 1 2 3 so you have to write 3 and coming to the 12th only 1 is there so you will write only 1 so these are the final lenses so coming to here which is the, now if you see here which is the largest number 5 is the largest number right so here 5 is the largest number so which is, which is the suitable vaccine leaves regarding this analysis number regarding this 5 number see here 10 is the higher 10 is the uh, vaccine leaf number which is suitable for this analysis number so here 10 is a number right which we got so here 10 will be the answer in this discrete series so you have to write mode is equals to 10 uh, and you have to write result compulsory and the result depend upon the question of which they ask in the data so in this way the analysis table will be formed so this is about the mode in discrete series in next video let us discuss about mode in continuous series so thank you for watching this video guys if you like this video please do like and subscribe and if you have any doubts regarding this video please comment in the comment box i will clarify doubts immediately so coming to this grouping method, a uh, grouping method is nothing but the steps uh, which are mainly required to form a grouping table is known as grouping method and what are the points which are mainly required uh, to form a grouping table. So I am going to say enough. And if you see here, uh, before what I have drawn there here, I have drawn grouping table and here and I have drawn analysis table. So the grouping table will be formed by 6 columns. So the entire data will be represented within 6 columns. So first, second, third, fourth and fifth and sixth. How, the, how each of the column will be formed? I am going to say enough. First column is nothing but frequency values which will be given in the question. That's nothing but which will be given for you in the data. So we have that will be that will act as first column. 
coming to the second column you should add first frequency and second frequency and next third frequency and fourth frequency fifth frequency and sixth frequency so this both gives one value right so that value you should represent in second column and next third and fourth frequency will be given and that will be represented next into the second column and fifth and sixth will be represented to the next in the second column in this way second column will be formed and coming to the third column you leave first frequency and then next you have to add uh, next two frequencies so in this way you will leave first frequency right so you have to add second plus third frequency you will obtain the third column in that way and so on and coming to the fourth column how the fourth column will be obtained by sum of first three frequencies and so on that's nothing but frequency 1 plus frequency 2 plus frequency 3 uh, one value frequency 4 plus frequency 5 plus frequency 6 you will get in the value and so on coming to the fifth column you should leave first frequency and then you have to add next three frequencies and so on 2 plus 3 plus 4 you will get one value 5 plus 6 plus 7 you will get another value 8 plus 9 plus 10 or uh, you will get another value in that way you will get so on so sixth column you should leave first and second frequencies and then you next you have to add uh, three frequencies and so on so first frequency second frequency you will leave i have written here right so you should uh, add the remaining three frequencies and so on so 3 plus 4 plus 5 one value 6 plus 7 plus 8 and the value 9 plus 10 plus 11 and the value so in this way the grouping table will be formed so from the grouping table the analysis table will be formed so thank you for watching this video guys if you like this video please do like and subscribe and if you have any doubts regarding this topic please comment in the comment box i will clarify your doubts immediately and you can also join us in whatsapp group so the link will be given in the description box thank you